Hello, today we're going to prove the theorem if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then two pairs of opposite sides are congruent. And so therefore we have given a parallelogram A, B, C, D, and we want to make sure that A, B is going to be congruent to C, D, and likewise the opposite side of B, C is going to be congruent to, uh, to C, D. And so the first thing I always put down here is number one is our is our given. We have a parallelogram. A, B, C, D. That's kind of lousy writing there, but see if I can improve on that. All right. We know that uh, because it's a parallelogram that this side and this side are going to be congruent. Likewise, I mean, these are two little marks. That means that these sides over here are, are excuse me, are parallel. So I have two, I have BC is parallel to AD, and likewise AB is parallel to CD, all right, CD. And we know that because that's part of the definition of a parallelogram, definition of parallel. All right, three. Now, in order to prove that this side and this side are equal, let's try to use congruent triangles, and we'll use this diagonal of A, C, all right, to create that. So the first thing I'm going to do on here in this is I'm just going to create this, this uh, AD, or excuse me, AC. So the diagonal AC is going to be congruent to AC because of reflective property. All right, R E F L E X I V E, that property, right? I also know if these two lines right here are parallel, then angle one, this angle here, and angle two are going to be congruent because they're alternate interior angles. Likewise, if I was considering these two lines parallel cut by a transversal, then angle three would be congruent to angle four. All right, so I can put down here number four. I can put that angle one is congruent to angle two. Likewise, angle three is congruent to angle four because we know if we got parallel lines, we know that alternate interior angles are going to be congruent. All right, that's a property we've already uh, discovered. All right, next. I think we have enough, oh, yes we do, we have, we have enough information to know that using a angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle, we can create these two triangles right here, we'll make them congruent. So number five, we'll start with triangle A, B, C, triangle A, B, C, is going to be congruent to triangle uh, C, D, A. Is that right? Let's put that uh, uh, C, D, A. Right. Uh, it's going to be congruent to triangle C, triangle C, D, A. So five. And I said that earlier, that was angle, side, angle. Therefore, the opposites, the, in this case right here, if that is the case, then this leg is going to be congruent to this leg because of corresponding parts. So 6, we can put down there AB is congruent to CD. Uh, AB is congruent to CD. CD. Likewise, we know that BC is congruent to AD. BC is congruent to AD, all right? And six, and we use that the, the uh, abbreviation of corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So there's your, uh, that's how we explain this right here. So now we know that opposite, opposite sides of a uh, parallelogram are going to be congruent. Thank you.